Alright, hey guys, so I am trying to film this video decently quickly because I just received my Vintage She Sense order and so I live in Canada so I use like a shipping company and I thought it was going to come here next week, it's currently Thursday, I thought it was going to come Monday because it said it was supposed to come tomorrow. Um... And I'm not going to be home tomorrow, so I thought they were just going to come back Monday. But it, I got it today, for whatever reason. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can grab the, <laughs> the scent list so I can describe these for you. Um, let me see. Yes, here I have them. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the sample I got. And the sample I got is Deep Slumber. And what's really funny is I got this as a sample... But I also got the loaf of this, so I have double of this now, which is not bad. Um, so this is a pink honey lavender vanilla. I don't know if the pink is pink sugar or what, but this is, I think this is what I was smelling. I got the box and something smelled a little bit weird to me and I think it might be this. I kind of like it, but it's kind of weird. The honey, it's a very floral honey. It's less of a, it's more of like a, it's kind of like a honey and orange blossom rather than a plain honey. Yeah, I definitely get kind of like an orange blossom or neroli in there. It smells kind of like honey I washed the kids honey with that orange blossom in there. It's very interesting. Um, it's very relaxing and soft. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it, but also it's a little bit, it's different. I like it though, but it's different. It's definitely like bizarre. And so I'll show you the loaf that I also got of that. This is the loaf. Um, the, this is just the regular unicorn loaf. Okay, can we just talk about how tiny this is? Because I think it's, I never realized how tiny her regular loaves are because I've always purchased her deluxe loaves, which are so much bigger, but these ones are quite tiny. Like, let me compare it to a sunshot. It's like, it's like pretty small. I don't know. I, I thought it would be bigger, but I guess not. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just not used to seeing, I thought her just regular loaves, I didn't think they were smaller. I just thought they, I don't, I thought they were smaller. I just didn't think they were this small. I don't know. Um, the next one I have is Blackberry Milk Glass, which I like her milk glass scent, and then I love Blackberry, so I thought this would be a good one. This was a last minute purchase, I had my wish list all set, and before I checked out, because I was one of the first people on there, I decided to go into the search bar and buy it anyways. I <laughs> So, this one is Blackberry, Wildberry Mousse, Cake Batter, and Sugar Milk. Um, so the last three scents, the Wildberry Mousse, Cake Batter, and Sugar Milk are all the milk glass, and... It's so good. It's like milk glass, but just fruitier and a little bit more berry. It's really nice. I can't wait to do like a loaf cutting video with you guys, but I'm going to have to wait till I get more stuff to cut. But that one's really good. Really fruity, really creamy, really sweet. I love, I love sugar milk. The next one I got is a Chantilly Shatter in Pop Art. And Pop Art is lemon cake blackberry ice cream and i love lemon and i love berry scents specifically i love me a good blackberry so i was obviously really excited for this one that lemon so this is kind of what they look like it's like a green and purple and some of them have like cute patterns on them yeah let me grab one so like this one has a cute little pattern on it i think she just uses an impression mat on the bottom of her wax so um smells really good you definitely get that lemon cake it's a very um it's almost verging on cleaner lemon kind of bakery lemon you know that bakery lemon that's a little bit almost cleanery it's really good though I really like that kind of lemon um, in bakery I really like that almost cleaner lemon bakery scent and that's kind of what this is and then the blackberry ice cream I don't know if I really smell that too much but I do smell like a creamy sweetness so that could be that maybe it'll come out more if I let it cure longer or once it's warm the next thing I got is 
Violet, and this is in her, like, her three little, I don't know what you call them. Her, they're, they're, like, the three little flower cubes, or I don't know the name of them. This one was one I really took a chance on. I didn't know if I would like it, but everyone was really hyping it up in the chat. And these ones, wow, these can be cut into fourths. Um, very, very big. And this is um, Violet and Marshmallow Wafers. This one is, they're so pretty. Oh my God. And you get three of them. They're so big. They're like, they're kind of like the size of an L3 chunk, if you know what that size is. It's about, I think it's about, they're about like, they're about three to four ounces for, I think they're like three-ish ounces for one to three and a half ounces for one. That's what it kind of looks like to me just off of looking at it. It smells like, it's very interesting. It's like floral. It definitely is like a floral. You get the violet. But it's also really creamy and a little bit bakery. I don't know. I really like that. That is so nice. That is such a good blend. And I think that would be a really pretty living room scent or bedroom scent or even a scent to fall asleep to because that's just so pretty, so nice. It's so calming and relaxing. This is another one I was nervous about. I know I love citrus, but there's a lot of orange in this blend and I'm very picky with orange. So this is Juliet is the Sun, Princess of Monaco, Jackie O, and this is a blossom bag. I don't know if it's the deluxe blossom bag, but it's a blossom bag. And that's what it looks like inside. There's a bunch of little shapes. Ooh, I smell that. And this is a mixture of orange sherbet, satsuma, tangerine, whipped cream, lemon curd, marshmallow birthday cake, marshmallow, vanilla bean overpour, vanilla bean noel. Not overpour, Jesus Christ. Okay, so Juliet is the Sun is orange sherbet, Satsuma and tangerine whipped cream, I believe, and then Princess of Monaco is lemon curd marshmallow, and then Jackie O is birthday cake marshmallow vanilla bean noel. And so we pull out one of the shapes. They're so cute. They're yellow and orange, and this is one of them. That's cute. It's like a little tulip. I like it, but I don't love it. Like I don't hate it. I. It's very creamy. You really do get the Jackie O. For sure the it kind of smells like it kind of smells like an orange um, kind of like an orange what's the candy I'm thinking of um, a starburst it smells like an orange starburst but like creamier and a little bit bakery and by bakery I just mean like that kind of buttery creamy cake scent it's not bad it really does smell like an orange starburst I think it's that, I think it's the Jackie O that's really throwing me off. I think if there wasn't Jackie O in it, I would like it more than I do now. But yeah, it really does remind me of like an orange, orange starburst. The last thing I got is a Blossom Bar, and this is in the scent Yakety Yak. And this is just her plain green apple fragrance. Hopefully I like this. Oh my god, that is so good. It is a pure... Just like tart green lemon. It's not too sour. It's not like it's not like a green apple Jolly Rancher. But it's like a tart, creamy green apple. Oh, that is so good. And it also smells you also kind of get a slight apple skin smell, if you know what I'm talking about. That kind of Oh, that is so nice. I love that. I have had a bad time. I've had a bad time finding good green apple scents and good peach scents, and this is a good green apple scent. So good. A lot of the green apple scents are just kind of like that Jolly Rancher green apple, or they're just not green apple enough. They're just not very good, but all of those are amazing. I loved that. That was so good, and of course, I also got the two bakery bags, but I never use them. I normally cut up my loaves, and I keep them in the poly bags rather than put them in the bakery bags. Because I just like having the extra bakery bags. There's no point in kind of transferring the loaves into the bakery bags and then throwing out <laughs> the poly bags. I'd rather keep the bakery bags and just keep the poly bags that are already used anyways. I don't know. That's just like my thought process about it. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, this was my actually second order. No, th I guess it's my second order with Vintage Chic Sense. I did have a D-stash where if you see all the scent shots that I have from 2015... 
All of those send shots are from a D stash I got from a really, really lovely lady who had messaged me and sent me a bunch of stuff, so that was really nice of her. Um, but yeah, that's really exciting. That's my second haul, and I'll definitely be buying more. I'm really happy with all, most of my purchase. I think the only thing I'm a little bit iffy about is probably Juliet is the Sun, just because I did buy such a large amount of it, and I'm very picky about my oranges. I don't know. I'm, I still don't know if I love it or not. And then the other one is Deep Slumber. I know that I like it, but it's very odd to me. It's like odd smelling, if that makes any sense. But I'm very, really happy with my haul. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be another wax melty video. Um, and yeah. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!